So I'm gonna not only try and upgrade every paragon in the game, but also try and make the secret true sun god. It's gonna be like 5 million gold, but 5 billion balloons murdered. Yeah, it should be fun. I don't know where a good spot to place my hero is. I'm just gonna place it right here and hope for the best. Oh, Dark Monkey, go over there. Are we covered? I feel like everything's looking good, looking powerful. Now for what I have planned, I need a lot of money. No, seriously. It takes all three of these things. So might as well get my first banana farm on down and immediately hire someone to do the work for me. Is it lazy or is it efficient? Answer, <laughs> it's both. Also, just spend a little cash to get a tax shooter down up there. I think if balloons go long enough untouched, they eventually climb the steps. It's like that scene in Rocky, but you know, if someone was waiting at the top of a gun and shot him, be a horrible ending to the movie Rocky. <laughs> Greater production, if you'd please. And I'm playing Adora simply because A, this is her temple, B, it's her, and C, there's something fun I can do later. Not to mention, she's also just insanely good. She's like a just one man army, one woman army, sorry. Go Adora, go. Pop literally everything on my screen. It's so, look at these, look at these balls of death that are flying around. I don't even have to worry, I just have to hit her ability and all of a sudden I win. Also, I sold my banana farmer because he was in a bad spot. This way, he'll be a little better. Yes, no, that camel balloon skate past me. Oh, you jerk. It was my perfect record. I think, oh no, it's energy balloons too. Luckily my dart monkey was able to pop those. We're all fine. I've got all my banana farms over there to be greater production. Maybe it's time for me to go ahead and get a better coverage going. A little wizard monkey with fireball. He'll pop the leads for me and then give him monkey sense to take care of the camos. And then, I don't know, put another one down just cause I guess. There you go, wall of fire guys. This temple will not let you kill me easily. Also, it is time for more banana farms. Like I said, this is gonna take a lot of money. And unfortunately for me, a small loan of a million dollars, not achievable. Wizard monkeys, you guys got this right. They gotta come up the steps eventually, I think, which is, uh, yeah, right into the flames. There we go, another six farms down. How beautiful is that? I am a little bit worried about the Moab that's gonna appear in four rounds, but I've somewhat got an idea. If I place cannons with Moab Mauler, these two specific spots, they kinda cover both sides of the temple, and I should be all right. You know what? Screw it. Let's just place them on all four. You can never be too safe. Oh, there it is. Get him, get him. Oh, it popped it. Yes, Adora, use your ability. Perfect. The one hurdle has been passed. Now time to get the money going. Banana implantation for everything, please. Thank you. Come on, game. Just one more. Give me it. Yes. Look at that. I'm like Mr. Beast with Team Trees right now. Oh, and that's a lot of energy resistant camo balloons, huh? All right. Looks like it's time to buy a couple of these guys. Go ahead, give you balloon jitsu and seeking shuriken. Come on, you can get a little more. There you go, buddy. Now that should take care of everything properly somewhat, I'm hoping. I guess I can start getting these these guys to valuable bananas while I wait. Is it 16 grand for banana research facility? Spending money to make money, that's how it goes, I guess. Can also start going into Ring of Fire for my tax shooter, that'll help him up there. And I'll just get my super monkey down. Don't worry, buddy, eventually you're gonna be something great. Might be a little evil, but still great. All right, Cash, just keep pouring in. Getting so many per round now. Also give you super range. Yeah, that encompasses everything, I think. Oh, it's the big red guy. Use my ability on him. Shred him a bunch. Super monkey, I see you throwing those darts. Good work, buddy. You got it. Yep, glad we had that talk. More banana research facilities. Oh, and I unlocked Adora's ball ability. It just shoots giant sunbeams at people. Do that in real life, you get arrested within nine seconds. Now that I think about it, doing any of the things I'm doing you just balloons in real life should get you arrested. <laughs> and my final banana research facility is done. That means I can start upgrading this guy a little bit. Right into the sun avatar, huh, buddy? If you're not familiar with super monkeys, you'll see how good he is there in a second. I'll also can start to upgrade this wizard monkey a little bit. And because of what I'm going for, I think I also need the boomerang monkey. Let him have it, buddy. I see your giant three golden rays of death and I welcome it. Wizard Lord Phoenix, my tier five. That's really good. He shoots giant, well, red balls of death. Inferno ring, if you please. Upgrade my boomerang monkey a little bit and just squeeze a dartland gunner in here solely for the purpose that I will be buying mad eventually. And by eventually, I mean right now. And if you notice, my wizard monkey has a sell price of 37,000. Boomerang Monkey has 32, Tax Shooter's 30,000, my Mad is 43. That means in these three categories, I've spent 50 grand, which actually is important. Here, just use all my abilities real quick too, simply because I can. It's around 75, I'm not too scared. All right, I think I've put enough money in. Sun Temple, come on out, buddy. This guy's got a large range, and man, is he deadly. I don't think he has camo detection though, but that's fixable. Hey, what? Have some jungle drums too. And now the fun part, gonna do it all over again. Do one grand on Permabrew for the alchemist. 
Yes, thank you. That's magic done. Start to go into mad balloon stuff. Oh, that was around 80 I passed. I didn't even realize. I've been buying so many things. 50 grand spent in military. Now to just spend some money in primary. There we go. All tier fives are in, but of course it's not that easy. I need to make the tier five super monkey the anti-balloon. And then the big one is I need to make the legend of the night 170,000. Oh, why does everything cost so much money? I guess I could buy banana central to also help that, huh? Round 99 and I'm just 20 grand shy of what I need. That's fine. I've got the big bad evil Mr. Mean Balloon right here and a bunch of abilities to help out. Okay, round 100's done. Moving on with our life. Legend of the Night, if you'd please. Now I've got both tier five super monkeys. I just need the final one. And like I said, man, is this guy strong? He's already got 1.5 million pops. Not even tier five yet. Also, Adora's max level now, which is fun. She's insanely strong. All right, everything's going good. We're almost there at the money count that I need. Keep it up. Oh, and we're there. All right, true sun god. Come on out, buddy. And by that, I mean the vengeful true sun god. Oh, everything changed to be evil and dark. Let's get my buffs back. Give you epic range. Now we should be... Okay, yeah, he's just murdering everything. Oh, evil true sun god. How I love you. Get my permanent brew back, please. Thank you. And now thanks to this guy, all my towers are buffed in some way, shape, and or form, which means it's pretty easy to just get more tier fives. So much so that I've been buying tier fives this whole time and I still have 165 grand. I'm no expert, but I think that makes him pretty busted. Oh yeah, I can also ultra boost him. I've literally changed the world around me like Thanos with the reality stone. Why not make it where I can't even tell what's happening because there's seven trillion particles on my screen. It only seems right to me. I like this. Also just get some plutonium reactors down in each of these ponds. There, now it's like no matter where balloons go, they're either fighting their undead allies, a giant evil angry god, a bunch of thorns and angry phoenixes in there. There's some ice monkeys hanging around. I saw that. See, isn't this fun? Isn't this just peak power? Not to mention that I can just buy more super monkeys. Fun for everybody, except for the balloons, but I do not care about them. <laughs> Oh, I love it. But of course, I'm not stopping there. I mean, why would I? I've got paragons to make now, too. I want to make my favorite, most busted one, though. So I will be needing a little bit of you, monkey aces. Go ahead and kill a bunch of stuff all around us. And then give me a million gold whenever you're ready. Because what does the world look like with a vengeful sun god? And as many paragons as the game will let me put down. Well, of course, I will be finding out. Also, I think if you flash my screen to a Victorian era child right now, they would just start choking call you a demon and then die which is my exact measurement on if i'm playing btd6 right or not i didn't even realize because we're just the world's most efficient gamers right now that we passed 150 i wish i had little markers that showed me where the balloons actually were and how far they've made it my only measurement of progress right now is the fact that well no one's making it anywhere all right i think it's about that time monkey buccaneer you ready to become a paragon buddy the answer is of course yes look at him up there just eating any moab that appears Oh, that's so fun. Also, I've officially upgraded my Vengeful to have a times 10 Ultra Boost bonus. That just means I think it attacks like 66% faster, uh, which is substantial whenever you're a literal evil god. Or when you're a tiny little level 1 balloon and don't know what to do, you could just start crying. When do I get my Wizard Monkey Paragon though, game? This is what I've been waiting on. Going up, we're about to hit round 165 and things are still looking good. I will not rest until I see round 200 fall before my feet and and give me its firstborn as an apology, to which I will promptly feed to my true sun god. I've kind of got an experiment going while I've been waiting for this Goliath Doom ship, where I've been just increasing my specter with my little turbo wrenches, because I'm not sure if the moment I make this guy a Goliath Doom ship or not, if it stays. Oh, it doesn't. I've wasted my time. Sweet. <laughs> But that makes the third Paragon on the field now. And no signs of slowing down yet. And with just 20 rounds to go before round 200, figured I might as well make my fourth and get the Plasma Master up. He murders things efficiently enough. With that, I think there's only two Paragons left and a lot of abilities for me to click down here. It's like a fun little mini game almost. If we're being honest, I lost what any of this did a long time ago. But I know I can make a Boomerang Paragon now. Now there's just one guy left and 14 more rounds. It's gonna be close. 
close. Well, I'll just let this run for like eight minutes and then come back and see where we're at because I want some more coffee. Like I need any more stimulus in my body except for watching this screen. A few moments later. We're back at 199 and I have made every paragon in the game and the ultimate vengeful sun god. It is impossible to get stronger than this for this is the pinnacle. Now let's watch round 200 go by. What balloon huh? is right? Oh, it's a fortified purple guy, purple evil Mr. Mean Man. He's making it a decent distance, actually. You know, longer than I expected. And, well, he's popped, so... Got anything else, game? Oh, I think here comes another one here. Tell you what, let's just speed it up, huh? And, yep, used all the abilities and I win. <laughs> Oh, this is probably what Superman feels like. If we're being honest, this is good. I like it. I'm just gonna leave auto start on and then I don't know, go take a nap or something. Wake me up whenever the CEO of balloons calls me and wants me to be the new manager.